Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So today I've got an update for you in Miller v. Bonta, which currently sits in front of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. If you're not aware what Miller is, it is the challenge to California's so-called assault weapons ban. Well, it looks like the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is once again up to their same old games. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on because it's not good. Now, real quick, if you want to support this channel and you're watching, you haven't yet subscribed, hit that little subscribe button. It's free. It only takes a second, but it helps me out quite a bit. And hit that little alarm bell. That'll let you know when new videos come out and you can stay up to date on what they are trying to do to your rights. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here because it looks like once again, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is putting on a master class in how to screw over Californians when it comes to their constitutionally protected rights. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals being the most overturned appeals court in the entire country never ceases to amaze. We know that they are activists. We know that what they're doing is just based off of their own personal agenda. And they have shown that through Miller v. Bonta. We're talking about a case that started down at the district court level with Judge Roger T. Benitez. It went up to a three judge panel who agreed with Benitez the first time that he placed an injunction against this case. Then it was heard on Bonk. Well, on Bonk didn't care about Judge Benitez or the three judge panel. They went ahead and reversed the injunction. So it goes up to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court post Bruin decides to reverse and remand it back down to the ninth. Now the ninth could have just taken it from there and decided, yes, this is clearly unconstitutional. We've heard it from multiple of our judges as well as the district court judge. We can just handle it from here, but no, what did they decide to do? They decided to throw it all the way back down to judge Benitez who once again comes up, comes up with the same conclusion stating that it is in fact unconstitutional. So it goes back up to the ninth circuit court of appeals because California obviously appealed this decision as well. Well, unlike Duncan, where they skipped the three judge panel, now it's being heard by a three judge panel at the ninth circuit. The great thing about it was originally is that it was supposed to be expedited. So they decided to expedite a case, which is very rare for the ninth circuit. They're uh, honestly some of the best at delaying things and never like, forever. I mean, the Ninth Circuit will delay, delay, delay as long as it can. So hearing that it had been expedited was actually kind of interesting. Now, oral arguments have been expedited to December 8th. So that means less than a month from now, we were going to hear oral arguments in this case. Well, guess what? Without any warning, without any reason, and just without any cause whatsoever, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has done it again, and they have delayed this case. So now, instead of being December 8th, we're looking at oral arguments on the week of January 22, uh, the week of January 22, 2024. So yep, yeah, once again, they have moved this on. They changed the briefing schedule and everything. Let me go ahead and read you guys what they wrote. So it says here in the official court document, oral argument for this case is vacated. The court intends to schedule oral arguments during the week of January 22, 2024 in Pasadena, California. Appellee's motion to appear remotely is thus denied as moot. In addition, the briefing schedule is modified as follows. The briefing, uh, the opening brief is due December 1st, 2023. The answering brief is due December 22nd, 2023. And the reply brief is due January 8th of 2024 per the court's October 18th, 2023 order. The administrative stay shall remain in effect until the merits panel decides the appeal or issues an order lifting the stay. So you can see what they did right there. It, it seems like what they did is just delay it, but it was more than that. What they did is more of a two prong approach. What they did is they delayed it till early 2024. And then they also extended the stay that is basically stopping the injunction from taking place. So they extended the stay. They drug everything out till early 2024 until that three judge panel has a chance to hear or arguments, look at everything once again, and determine whether or not to lift the stay, which would allow Judge Benitez's injunction to actually take place. But until that point, California's ban remains in effect. So again, they delayed it, they extended the stay, and screwed over Californians yet again. So the other thing you have to remember here is that after the three judge panel actually has a chance to hear this, it can still go on bonk, meaning that the full ninth circuit would take a look at this and then the full ninth circuit would have time to delay and delay and delay some more. And then we might still even end up at the Supreme court. So again, the ninth circuit has once again decided that they don't really care that this is a constitutional case that has been going on for a long time. Now I mean, we are talking, we're getting up to the, you know, five year mark now. So I think there needs to be something done. There needs to be a new law 
that says when it comes to constitutional challenges, right, where somebody's saying that a law that was created by a state or the federal government infringes on people's constitutional rights, there needs to be a time limit set so that this doesn't happen, so that we don't have cases go five, six, seven years in court before people see any type of relief. There needs to be like a one year maximum for relief for the plaintiffs or whether or not the, you know, their case is denied. But there needs to be like a one year period where this takes place. Again, where you stretch out to almost a decade, that shouldn't happen when it comes to infringing on people's constitutional rights. So uh, again, I just wanted to let you guys know that the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is up to their old games again, and they are slowing this case down as much as possible. But we'll see what comes from the three judge panel in January and then we'll just take it step by step from there. But anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And since I'm recording this on Veterans Day, I want to say thank you very much to all of the veterans out there for everything you've done, everything you've sacrificed, and all the hard work you put in to keep this country what it is. Thank you again. Happy Veterans Day.